Hey everyone, this is Bridget Reyes and I am back with another uh, stylish tip for you this week. And uh, this week I'm going to be addressing how to dress a large chest. I received an email from a woman named Marianne asking about this. And she wrote, uh, Dear Bridget, I love your blog and videos. Thanks, Marianne. Uh, reading your blog, you have said that you have a large chest. So I think you may be able to help me with my problem because I too struggle with this. I know women with smaller chests may laugh at the fact that I call it a struggle, but I'm sure you can understand. Yes, Marianne, I understand. Uh, she then goes on, my question is, how do I dress a large chest? Right now, I wear a 36 double D, but I don't think it's the right size because I never feel comfortable. I'd be much happier and accepting of my chest size if I could A, feel better in my bras, and B, know I am dressing my body shape properly. I don't want to hide my large bust size necessarily. I just don't want to show them off or have everything I wear be about them. I also feel larger than I am and dumpy in certain clothes because of my large chest. Any tips of uh, any tips on what is and isn't best to wear? Also, do you have a bra brand that you like? Thanks, Marianne. Well, Marianne, um, I hate to say this, but there probably is a very, very good chance that you're probably wearing the wrong bra size. Um, I uh, was actually wearing the wrong bra size myself for many, many, many years. Um, for years, I thought I was a 34D because when I would go to department stores or buy bras, uh, that's what the salesperson would give me. I would get fit properly, supposedly. Um, it wasn't until just recently that I found out I'm not a 34D or double D, I'm a 34G. Um, unfortunately, if you go to especially larger department stores, um, not only do you, you're not guaranteed to get a great bra fitter, but a lot of department stores or larger stores don't cater to a very large chest. So what they often do is they'll put you in a bra that doesn't fit you, they'll increase the band size, and the band size just relates to the size of your back. So they'll increase that to give you more cup room, but then you're not getting any support. And they'd rather make the sale and get you out the door than properly fit you. So my first suggestion to you is to really make sure and really visit a reputable bra, uh, bra shop, bra retailer where they have real specialists there who uh, know how to size properly, who cater to a larger bus size, um, who carry bra brands that, that do uh, take care of a larger bus size. Um, because it's really important, and I think a lot of women are realizing now they're wearing the wrong bra. And I, I had no idea. I mean, here I am dressing women for a living. I wrote about this on my blog. Um, and it wasn't until I stepped into uh, a store in my neighborhood called Lily's Valise. And if you're familiar with the show, my um, it was called Big Brooklyn Style on TLC. This is the store that was featured on the show, and it's owned by Lisa Dolan. And uh, I went in there. Lisa's a very good friend of mine, and she threw me into the dressing room with a bra, uh, that was a 34G and my life was forever changed and the bra company that I wear is uh, a brand called Prima Donna which is actually the only brand that she sells currently uh, in her store because she's such a believer of it. The bras aren't cheap, I will tell you that. Um, they're made in Belgium, they're handmade um, and they have a lot and they're, they're focused on a larger chest and they also have a tremendous amount of steps to make sure that the fit is right. So once you, as I say, once you go prima donna, you never go back. So I highly recommend checking out this bra brand. I know there are many others that cater to a larger bust size, but this is the brand that I love and I wear. And um, if you can't get to Lisa's store, if you're not in the New York area, which is Lily's Valise on Court Street in, uh, in Brooklyn, right in my neighborhood, um, you can visit Prima Donna's uh, website and search for retailers that carry the brands, uh, the brand near you. Uh, you can just Google Prima Donna and, and find them. Um, so that's my first suggestion. It's, it's probably you're not wearing the right bra size if you're that uncomfortable. And what you will find is a lot of women get really freaked out about moving into these higher than D letters. So once you start getting into F and G and H and I and even J, it's like you, it's, it seems crazy. But don't avoid it because what you're going to find when you get yourself 
properly fit and possibly into the right bra size if you're not wearing the right size is that your chest is actually going to look smaller. The second I got myself into the right bra size, it was a miracle. I suddenly didn't feel like you do, which is like spilling out and then it's all about my bust and, and I, I couldn't get control of the rest of, of my outfit. And it was all about my, my boobs. It was all about my boobs, um, which can be fine, but most times it's not. So um, you don't be afraid of the higher letters. Really don't be afraid. Um, you know, there's, there's no reason to cling on to that D, okay, or double D. But now you got to dress yourself. So now we're going to move into, well, okay, so now you have the right bra on, but there are a lot of things you can do with clothing um, to look slimmer. The first is that I'm going to suggest that you never shorten your torso. So when a woman has a large chest, a, an exceptionally large chest, even if she's not short-waisted, which means that her torso is short, a large chest will show or give off the impression that a woman is very squat in her torso. So she looks like sometimes she can look like she's just like boobs in a waist. Her waist looks very, very short. Um, and so what, what happens is optically that anytime you shorten a part of the body, you also risk it looking bigger. So what happens is because you probably, even if you aren't short-waisted, look naturally squat in your torso because of your chest size. Anytime you wear anything that sits too high on your waist, meaning high-waisted pants, high-waisted skirts, very wide belts, even on peer waists, it's going to shorten the appearance of your torso and anytime you shorten a part of your body, you make it look bigger. So the first thing I want you to think about is I want you to put your hands on your look for your pelvic bones, okay? This is what I call the pelvic bone zone, okay? There are those two bones that are right around your hip bones that kind of stick out. What you want to make sure about is that when you're wearing a top, for example, that the top doesn't sit any shorter than that point. In fact, an inch to two inches longer is often even better. So if you're not tucking in, which when you have a large chest, I mean, do we really tuck in? Um, but when you're not tucking in that your tops sit a little longer because when you elongate a body, when you elongate the torso, your chest is going to look more proportioned. Um, it's not going to necessarily make you look like a flat chested A cup woman, but you are, your bust, it's not going to be all about the boobs. Okay. So that's why elongating this part of the body really can make your chest look smaller. There is something else that you want to keep in mind too, and I'm going to show you a photograph of this because I happen to have a very large photo that I can share with you. So you may not know that I, I wrote the book Style Rx, which is uh, dressing the body you have to create the body you want. And in that book, I featured, I talked about, I think it was about 22 different body or I don't remember, uh, different body parts that women struggle with. And I used photography in the book and I used women who weren't professional models. So I actually enlisted the uh, volunteer, they volunteered, can you believe this? Clients volunteered to model in my book. My sister is one of the models, friends are some of the models, because I wanted to show in this book, if you struggle with this body issue, that the women photograph actually have the issue. So this woman, see if you can see it, this woman is actually a very old client of mine, worked with her many years ago. And she, so I have a poster size of this because when we had my book release party, we had these around and I still have the poster. So that's why I have such a large shot of this and she's probably going to kill me for doing this. But um, I want to show this because I also want to talk about the importance of shaping your waist. You mentioned that you feel dumpy in your clothing and this could possibly be why. If you notice her in the cable knit sweater, First of all, the, the, the top is, is on the slightly shorter side, but it also is a little bit shapeless. And when you look at her on the, in the other shot, while it is pretty obvious she has a large chest, in that photo her waist is shaped. And what is happening as a result is she is looking about 10 pounds lighter. Now I'm not suggesting that you wear such a deep cut top. You can, you can certainly wear something a little bit higher. but you see through her waist being showcased that she looks taller, she looks leaner, and she looks about 10 pounds lighter. 
So why does this happen? What happens and why does that happen when you wear shapeless tops? Women who have larger chests often have shaped waists and more times than not they also usually have bigger hips and thighs. This isn't always the case. But for the most part a large chest usually means you have a defined waist. What you want to do is always define your waist because when you don't your clothing then hangs from the largest part of the top half of your body, which is your bust, and it hangs straight down to the largest part of your body, which is usually your hips and thighs. So you're bypassing this amazing part of your body that is really much smaller. Your hip, I'm sorry, your waist to your bust ratio, there's a good difference between them, and you always want to show that difference. What it will do is make you look leaner, taller, and actually your bust minimized. So the reason why you're looking dumpy on clothing could be or feeling shapeless or feeling heavier than you are is because you're not shaping your waist. Now if you're not a super thin woman, which I don't know for sure whether or not you're thinner on the heavy side, it really doesn't matter. Women who tend to be larger say I can't show off my waist because I'm a larger woman. It has nothing to do with the, the weight that you are as it does with creating proportions. So I don't care if you're a size 16 or if you're a size 6. What you always want to think about is shaping your waist to create a more proportional look in your body that will create balance as opposed to bigness because you're hiding out under shapeless clothes. So that's the other thing that I want you to think about. But again, when you do that, make sure you don't then shorten your body with a big belt or something high-waisted because then you're going to still shorten your torso and make your bust look bigger. The last suggestion that I have is to avoid very high necklines. So this is another thing, women with large chests, especially when we were younger, right? And we didn't want to we hit puberty and our bust started getting bigger and we wanted to hide. We started putting on these high necks. We didn't want to bend down, didn't want to see any, have anyone see our cleavage. You want to open up your neckline. You don't want to wear high necks. Turtleneck can be the kiss of death. Do I wear them? Yes. Do I know that I'm going to look like I'm carrying two balloons underneath my shirt? Yes. I make an informed choice when I do that. But I know that when I open up my neckline and I break up the space between my neck and my bust, that my chest isn't going to be so dominant. So you also want to think about opening up the neckline. As you see in this photo, I'll bring it back up. Again, you don't have to go as deep cut as the photo of this model, but if you look at the difference between her jewel neckline versus the deeper V, her chest looks more balanced and proportioned. Like you said, you don't necessarily want to cover or lose your bust. You just don't want it to be all about your bust. And a lot of times what women do to cover it is what's emphasizing it and not usually in a good way. Um, just one thing about on pure waist because I, I did mention them earlier and, and they do have the power to shorten um, a, a torso and make a bust line look bigger. They can be okay if you're large chested if and only if you have shape beneath in that rib cage area that is right below your bust line. So you want to still make sure there's some shape. You want to make sure that the fullness in your in the ampere doesn't come straight down from the bust because if it does, you're going to look like you're just all boobs and you're going to look wider and you're bypassing that really amazing slimmer part of that midsection. So I hope those tips help you. Um, there, there are so many things that you can do to make a large uh, chest minimized or more in proportion. Um, I think the most important thing is to remember that you're never going to look like Audrey Hepburn. I mean, I, I've accepted that a long time ago. I, I'm not built like that. Um, that oftentimes it has nothing to do with weight. You will probably proportionately lose. Um, I, I've been as big as a size uh, 12 down to a size 4. And in all cases, I've always had a large chest. So these tips will work for you no matter what size you are. And if you are a curvier woman and you have a larger chest, you want to embrace it and work with it and not fight against it. And if you're a flatter chested woman watching this video, I, I, don't, I don't really know why you'd be watching this video. But if you are and you're thinking, cry me a wet river, it's so much harder to be. Uh, it's so much harder to be smaller chested than larger chested and you have no idea how hard it is, you're right. I don't personally have any idea how hard it is to have a smaller chest, but what I will tell you is something that I like to say. The grass is brown everywhere, meaning that nobody has it easier, and you may have problems having a smaller chest, 
but uh, we also have problems having a larger chest. They're just different problems. So hopefully these tips for a larger chest, Marianne, help you and anyone else watching. Um, if you have a question that you would like to ask me, you can visit my website at BridgetRays.com. You can find me on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash BridgetRaysStyleExpert, and on all other social media outlets like Twitter and Instagram and Pinterest. You can find me at BridgetRays. Have a great week. I'll chat with you next week.